Hey there. So the end of the year this year is going to look very different for you. Um, you're not going to be able to do the typical end of year activities and the collaboration and all that stuff seemingly is gone for the rest of this school year. Um, however, if you are able to reach your students digitally and you have a digital classroom at this time, I have tried to think of a way to still let you have that feeling of engagement and cooperation and collaboration and even competition. So I have this end of year review game that I put out last year called Sugarland, and it's been super well received by teachers. Uh, students love it. It's a really fun, engaging way to get them to review skills and um, play a typical traditional board game. Now, obviously when they're at home, that's not gonna work. So I tried to think of a way to make this accessible to your students while they're at home. And this is a free preview of that. So you can take a look and see if this is something that you think it would be worth it for me to continue to develop for all grade levels for which there is a Sugarland game, which is currently fourth through eighth grade math. So the way this works is you would have this new Google Classroom and um, one student would grab it and they would be able to invite their friends to play. You could either assign who's gonna to work together or they can make sure they're online at the same time. Their parents could help them out with that if they're in elementary school or lower middle and um, they could play. So if I'm the student who got this, I would hit share up here and I would make sure that it says can edit before I share it, because if whoever I'm playing cannot edit it, then they cannot play. So um, then I'll grab the link, I'll send it to them, and they'll be able to join me. So I have my friend April in here right now just to show how this works. So everybody playing will be up here. There can be up to four players, and they can talk to each other. So they'll be able to type in here to chat, hey, how's it going, I've missed you, what have you been doing? Um, and this is also how they'll share their answers to the cards. So they'll have this how to play card. Um, basically, they find the sum of the letters in their name. They'll play in order from least to greatest. So this is the game board. And these are the four pieces right here. So everyone will select their piece and they'll move it over here to the start. And um, if April was moving her own piece, I would see this piece move across the screen by itself. Um, and so they can stack them up on top of each other while they're over here playing. So. The way it starts is whoever goes first will pick their own card, any card they want. So there's gonna be four different color cards. For the sake of this preview, there's only um, just yellow, just so you can see how it works. So if I go first and I pick any yellow card, I'm just gonna slide the top down or off. And this card tells me to write the ratio of gummy bears to the total pieces of candy. And then if I get it right, I go two spaces. So I figure out the ratio, I'll type my answer in here and then I will come up here if I'm correct and I will move one, two spaces. I land on green. That means next time it's my turn, I go and pick a green card. And again, they're not here right now, but they'll be green over here the same way there is yellow. And then if I get that correct, I'll move the number of spaces it tells me to move. And this will keep going on until somebody gets all the way through to the bubble gum machine and they win. Now there is an answer card here. So teammates can check each other's answers. And while there isn't a way to hide it from the person who is currently playing, if you look up here on the card, you can see, or I can see that April is on this first card. So I know if it's her turn, I know she's not at the answer key. So it should just be known to your students that, hey, you know, you can see where each other is. It's on the honor system. When you're solving a card, um, don't check out the answer key. Only the person who is not solving it can check it out so they can tell the other person whether or not they're correct. So they'll just go through and play um, until they get to the end. So this is a way for students to still play a board game on their screen. They can interact with each other, they can help each other, they can talk to each other. Um, and it's just a way to bring a little bit of normalcy back to your classroom. Your kids are probably doing so much of the video learning. Um, some of your kids have packets and things feel very different for them and you. So my hope is that with this game, they will be able to enjoy themselves a little bit more. They'll appreciate being able to talk to their friends and play against each other. And honestly, I hope they'll come back to this. Even if you don't want them to play or you don't have, not that you wouldn't want them to play, even if you don't assign it, They'll be like, hey, let's go play that game together. 
So um, for now, this is just a free pre preview. I wanna see how you feel about it, whether or not you think it's something that will work for you. And if so, I will go ahead and get all of the grade levels developed into this digital format. So if you download this from TBT, the free preview, the first page will be just a, hey, this is what this is, and a survey link. And if you click the survey, um, it, you don't have to put in your email address. You don't even have to answer all the questions. It just lets me know, hey, do you like this? Would you use it? What grade level do you teach? And do you have any feedback? So that's it. And um, I can't wait to hear what you all think about this.